I'm a designer, product designer. I'm responsible for all the brands of Whirlpool Corporation. That will take you in a minute, what we do. But obviously, I spend a lot of time to design appliances for a lot of time in my life, from brand like KitchenAid to Whirlpool, Hotpoint, uh, Hindesit, uh, and other, other brands. But obviously, spend a lot of time around the world because now you need to work globally with different open situation. Um, I also, before to start to talk about Whirlpool, this is, I don't go to go to explain exactly this number. This is just to give you the size of the company where, I, where I'm working in this moment. Um, what is important for me, what is in the bottom, um, more or less 15 different brands around the world. So my responsibility is to understand what happened today, how could be the evolution of this brand from a design point of view, but also with the value, the values that we have in different markets. So from South America to Asia, or also to North, uh, North of Europe. So this is Whirlpool today. And what we do, so starting with what you can see on the left, maybe is the object that we create more famous that around the world, is the mixer of KitchenAid, designed uh, 120 years ago. <laughs> we never changed. This is why still everybody loves it, because we never change. Um, but after that, it was obviously new products that we um, put and redesign in the market in, in this moment. Uh, and what happened? When I need to, and we need with my team, my team to design new products um, or new appliances, what, where we have inspiration? Um, it's very simple. Let's try to understand the change, uh, the change of uh, change that is happening every day in your life, observing what, hap what happened around you. And uh, to understand is what we design is fitting with technology, but also with the people. And, uh, this is why in this moment I talk about, I heard about revolutionary moment. It is true with the social media element. Uh, people now is know more, share more, is collect, connected every time of the day. This is, is not simple. <laughs> Maybe some years ago to design a product for a simple person, to use this word, was quite, um, direct, now we need to understand the experience more than the shape of the product. So we come from a past where we owning, uh, we come from owning things. So the kitchen was a lot of product, a lot of machine. Now people is really more attracted and focused on the experience. So is this, we know about connectivity, but also connection is not only about be on the telephone, but to have different flexibility that is helping you to live in a different way every day. Um, I saw before some video about, okay, the robot. Um, this is happening. So technology is changing, is moving to in different way. But I'm more, um, I think, inspired by the, what happened with the expanding people, people capability. That is something for me is completely new, even more. Um, sensitive in a way and could give incredible result in the future with people. This is, is a part of the revolution about the consumer in this moment. So at the end of the day, my responsibility is to design product and the brand that create love and create desire. This is quite important in, in the business of a client. You can understand that people buy a product because they need it. Oh, I need a refrigerator. Gosh, I need to spend a lot of time on the retail, on the, on the shop. The desire to have this product at home because, ooh, I really want it, it's, it's not there. We need to build the experience and we need to understand what people, homes, lifestyles, and also food is connected in this moment of, uh, of, um, in the market. So just to, have, to understand behaviors, for example, we came from a period in the past where the machine was present in a kitchen. Uh, the image that you see on the right, this is a new kitchen. You, this, is the, this is a lady that you just sit down on the bed, having breakfast, having a drink, with a computer and with a telephone. This is not just a, a funny uh, picture. This is reality every day. I think my, my, my daughter, live 
uh, in this way. So she had a kitchen, but she never used the kitchen. So uh, what happened for us that we need to design the products? Um, first, we need to understand what happened in the house. So uh, from a house that was devised in little rooms, it's clear that there is a big trend about to create a one space that is shared with different function inside the house. So kitchen, dining, and living become to be one single place. That um, there is a difference from the layout on the left and the layout on, on the bottom. And on the right, you understand that if I have to design a refrigerator that need to stay where you have your friends, your living, sit down on the sofa, cannot be too heavy or cannot be just a machine. It need to be more connect to furniture and less to the machine. So I'll try to understand, OK, how can I use to create a new style, a new shape, or new function? There are two elements that now I just want to describe a little bit is style and need. What is about style? Well, everybody has a style. Uh, so it doesn't matter if you are rich or not, if you are young or old, everybody represent themselves in a way that they can. Um, sometimes it's very easy, sometimes it's not so easy. But everybody have a dress, have a clothes, and this is what, when I saw a person, oh, I see who, he, who is there, what, what he want, and this is the fine you. At the same time, the, the home that uh, you create uh, define you, where you want to live. The food, I, I'm not entering here because there are so many experts here, but again, you can jump. The same person can eat some food like you can see on the, on the corner over there with the burger to also some um, uh, Michelin uh, I don't know, preparation, vegetal, vegetarian, etc. Et the same person could, can jump in a different way. So this is also define you. And uh, what we eat is what we are. So this is, is connected to this. We also talk about, I need to understand the function and the location. Every day, these people changing. Because every day, um, and every week, and every month, every year, we have a different location, different part where we live, near the office, in the house, in the home. And we have different moments where we need to have diversity of function that are very important. The same is about the food. Food is not just when you're cooking, but it's already when you go to do shopping. So this is where everything starts. I think maybe you, you already know about it, okay, the food journey, where you start to have a, a circle that is start with um, exploration, um, go to purchase, to store. When you arrive at home, you need to storage your food, set up, cooking, preparation, eating, but then you need to cleaning, and then you need to sharing. And when you finish, oh, hey, we start again and again. And this is happening in every house, every home. So we need to understand how we expand the experience of people. That is not just one single act, but it's about connection to in different moments of the day. This is why, when I think about the kitchen, I found the kitchen as a little bit mm, not, not very flexible, because in reality, what we do in a kitchen, this is the hub of the home, where you have your friends, your children, and you do many different activities, not only cooking. Some time of the day, you're cooking. On the other, you do many different things that need to be connected. These are some of the uh, results of the research that we've done with um, Silestone uh, activity, uh, the research that we've done two years ago and also last year. So 900 people, from professional um, experts around the world, different countries around the world, they, they ask, they ask uh, OK, how will be the layout of the kitchen in 20 years from now? Nearly 82% people say, oh, it need to be open with dining room and uh, living room, what we say before. What up the activity that you can see will grow in the kitchen in the future? Well, spending time with the family, but with friends, eating, cooking, but also watching TV, work on the computer, do activity, homeworking with the children, etc. So this is required for me that the, the, the area of kitchen need to be very flexible. My first responsibility, understand, okay, what can I do in this 
in this block, in this object, uh, in this case a refrigerator maybe, or maybe something else. So I need to find a new level of flexibility that is fitting for the function, but also easy to have a certain style. For example, you can see here one of the proposal, a very simple furniture that could be a storage, but behind that there is a dishwasher, there is a fridge, and also a cooking. From outside, they look exactly the same, but this is giving a lot of easy um, management, especially during the raid, if you have people in the living room that is just sit down in front of you. This is another interesting um, project that I do now, so the pantry for food existing in, uh, in the past. Now, instead to have a huge ref refrigerator that maybe you, you use a little bit during the summertime, maybe, maybe it's just enough to have a, a cabinet that could have a little bit of uh, reduced humidity and have some fresh air, and that become a place where you can put a lot of food, especially vegetables that are much better there that stay in the refrigerator. So this is something new and giving a completely new um, flexibility. So what I try to say here that I really believe that the, the look of the product need to be more connected to furniture and less to what we think about is a machine. You can see over there. This is just a refrigerator that we designed uh, in uh, Brazil. This is because a lot of Brazilian people want to have a lot of beer next to where they work, they stay, done. But today I will redesign completely different because this is a little bit vintage, but already you can see the evolution to the to a design that is not exactly look like a refrigerator in a way. So again, the look of the product with all the function and the needs and the trends that we have uh, already happening in the kitchen need to go to the style of the house. And this is my, my next slide that I want to sh uh, show you and talk about what happened in the house. So how our personality is reflecting with the style and the look and feel of our, our houses, our home. Uh, there are so many different styles, so this is just globally, you can imagine from Mexico, India, Russia, UK, and by the way, in the same country, in the same region, you, you can have a mix of these different ethnography. It's not a problem. What I try to just um, show you some of the latest trends that I was just uh, observing and understanding dur during 2018, and I'm not caught talking about all of them, but some of them, to understand that everything is moving to a new level and um, to a different direction with respect to today. For example, three or four of these examples, modern Bauhaus. Bauhaus has come from Germany, so everything very modern, very minimal, minimalistic. And this is the picture that you can see here is coming where we come from, from the pictures on the left, where in the last uh, 10 years, or for many times, we have this black and white, lot of machine, very uh, me mechanical, and with a lot of technology, look over there. And this was the idea of min uh, minimalism. The picture that is on the right is where we are going through. It's still simple, clean, but it's much more soft and simplicity, uh, monolithic design. So this is a big change. And also this is something that I start to see also in a in lot of bars, in a lot of restaurants. Everything needs to be more organic and soft. And the same happened in the house. When I understand this, immediately I try to put together, okay, what are the right uh, ingredient for that, that's uh, different uh, color, finishy, and material that obviously represent the, the transition from the past and the future. Farmhouse that I can also, this is a, obviously is already a present in a lot of house, but you can see what we come from that is very country style, rustic in a way. From that point of view, that is connect to memory, we move to something that is more modern, a little bit more industrial, it's still 
traditional, but in a completely new way with, um, with material and uh, that is, I don't know, galvanized metal, different. It looks like a garage in a way, but uh, it, it could, could be something completely new. It's not a trend is happening now, but it's the direction of the evolution of countryside in the future. And obviously very important to see different uh, color finish and material that are connect with this transition. Uh, Mediterranean is very important for me in Italy. I can see in Italy, also in Spain, in France, a lot of the pictures like you can see on the left, where the, the design of the appliances is very machine, very mm, mechanical to something that need to go to a minimalist, but very soft, very um, um, tranquil, but where stone and ceramic become very important. Again, and also here I can see different uh, colors and different opportunity to connect with this uh, trend. Uh, the last I want to show you is the mid-recent century revival that we, I can see a lot during uh, 2018, and I use a lot of this image from Eurocucina in Milan that is a big design uh, show where you can see a lot of kitchen manufacturing that look about the future. So again, for something that was very classical that you can see on the, on the left, that was, by the way, designed in Ikea, was in an Ikea catalog a few years ago, 10 years ago, to something that is, is still <laughs> um, talking about the past, but in a completely different way, um, where every object is have a personality. Is a mix of product that are, seems that they've never mixed together. In reality, you create a very, very exciting atmosphere that also you can put, you can, I, I saw a lot of restaurants or bars that have this, this influence and then make a completely new design and uh, layout over there. So you can imagine how many opportunities we have from color finishing material. What can we do with that? So I try to make a map a map that for me is important to understand. Okay, this is where we are today, and this is where we go tomorrow. Already I can see that minimalism, minimalism is moving to something more eclectic, something where there is a lot of fusion, different styles, with more uh, decorative element and more organic method. This is, means that we don't have any more minimalism. No, it will continue, but to evolve in a different way. And obviously, very important in my job is to understand what can I do with different material and how this material could also come to appliances. I make here two or three samples. This is a, a series of the same built-in oven that I present uh, this year for Whirlpool. The oven is, is the oven, so it's just, I don't need to describe more than that. But it's very quiet, so technology is there, but not to to very invasive, not too much, no buttons at all. You just touch and you have the solution what you need. But the, the look of the product could be like different cover, could be customized in a different, customized in a different way with uh, the brass, uh, black, uh, stainless steel, a different opportunity. This is what we start, start to sell now. On the left, you can see exactly until few few months ago, we designed uh, appliances where refrigerator on the right is a completely different story. I need that product on the left. I desire this product that is completely different. And uh, the surprise of this is that the cost of the product that we have here on the right is less than 5% more respect the product you can see on the left. So at the end of the day, it's just to have inside the ingredient, ingredient and to work with different solution. Again, new refrigerator that we are going to have uh, very soon in the market. And this looks like in a social way, like in a bar or in a restaurant, you have this uh, container where you have different drinks and also you can have at home. Oh, the next picture is just talking about how can we integrate cooktops in the countertop with different material because now with quartz, the, the, that is uh, resistant with different temperature, we could have a completely different opportunity to integrate in a very nice and a very smooth way 
the design of this product that generally is, is just today is very industrial and tomorrow could be this different. So what's next? This is the last slide. But just to talk about every time we need to design or I need to design a product for a different brand, I need to look about everything together, a lot of bubbles. So life is not simple, obviously, and all, our, all the presentation that I hold today, we saw so many link between experience, uh, inspiration. So when I have to talk about purchase, I need to, about, uh, I need to talk about connectivity, conscious uh, sustainability, et cetera, et cetera, because this is very important. Then we have the area inside the house, inside the kitchen. And then we have different type of integration, different type of trends, uh, simplify life and social elements that obviously they are working together. So even a very little object have to be connected with everything because this is what we have in the mind. So the brain of everybody is not just focused on one single thing. You think about everything, your, your life, your children, your family, and what happened in your home. So that's, it's just, give you a glimpse about how much we need to have inspiration. And I think everything that I heard today here is fantastic. I really like it. So thank you very much.